And we got some weather today. Whew. And it's cold. I do not know how you guys do it out there in Canada and all that stuff. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I got a lot of you guys asking me, Eddie, what kind of cold air intake do you have on your truck? And number one, does it actually do anything for sound, for horsepower, uh, for everything that they claim, the torque? And I believe I still have the old box in my garage or somewhere for my cold air intake that I had. I think it claims to give you like 57 extra horsepower, I think, and 70 foot pounds of torque, some crazy number like that. There's, there's, there's no way that that's true. Um, where's the box? I'm gonna find the box for you guys and show you. Also for you guys asking me, where's the Hellcat? It is just sitting here in the other garage, plugged into a battery tender, cause well, it never gets driven. But here is the intake that I have. I have an AFE intake. It is uh, the 1000 CFM intake, I believe, if I can show you guys. Here is the part number. Hold on, let me uh, let me straighten this thing out for you guys. <laughs> all right, that's a little better. And oh, for you guys that hear all that rain out there, yeah, we got some uh, good weather here in San Diego. We actually got some rain, and it's cold. I mean, I don't know, like, I got to give it to, like, Dirty Max Jack, you know, and Mark DeCole out there that, you know, are out in PA dealing with, like, the snow. It's, like, 20 degrees or everybody out in Canada. Um, it's, like, I don't know, 60 degrees outside right now. Uh, probably a little colder than that and it's cold. I don't know how you guys do it. So, you know, I give it to you guys But so here is the filter if you guys could see that a little better 20 horsepower 57 foot-pounds of torque and it says adds up to so Here's like the key right here guys is you know Everybody when they, they see these intakes. This is all they see horsepower torque no, there, Nobody reads a little you know fine print that they put up here now It is a thousand CFM 10 layer filter Supposedly, this is the best for airflow and for the diesel truck. Um, that's, you know, what they say. And here's their 10-layer uh, progressive media little chingus of how it works. You know, I have not really tested these. Now, noise-wise, no. I did not notice anything for noise. You don't hear the turbo more. Um, you know, mine, I got the sealed one. I'll show you it on my truck, but mine is the closed one. I didn't want the open one. Supposedly, uh, this one is supposed to work better, but, you know, again, I've never tested these, and when I can find somebody that can dyno my truck, because a lot of shops that I look for uh, will not dyno my diesel for some reason. Some shops have told me it's because of my tire size. They don't want to ruin the dyno. I'm not buying that. Uh, and then some <clears throat> other shops tell me that, no, I don't smog diesels, or no, I can't get an accurate reading on diesels. So uh, I've asked around for a lot of diesel shops, and I can't find any dyno shop that will dyno my diesel. I do want to, you know, put this on and put a stock one on, actually see, because I'm not, I, you know, I, I don't believe this. I'm not buying this whole, you know, thing they're adding. How, what are the circumstances that I don't know? You know, I'm sure depending on weather, how cold it is outside, but... I'm sure if I were to dyno it, maybe this thing will give you maybe 10 extra horsepower, uh, if that. And I have read a lot of these filters, a lot of cold air intakes also in general, uh, only work when you are at wide open throttle. For an example, on the Hellcat, and this guy was honest with me too, when I purchased this filter, again, I didn't purchase this filter for any extra power, I just purchased it for looks just because I like the look of this better, you know, with the carbon fiber uh, and the big intake. Now, with this filter, maybe because it is open, but with this filter, you can hear this supercharger scream. And that's the main reason why I put this intake on. I got a light for you guys so you can see a little better. Um, but again, this guy, you know, flat out told me, he said, Eddie, uh, when you purchase this, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, it doesn't make a bunch of power, but your, su your supercharger will scream, you know, you will hear it extremely loud, and it only makes a little more power right at, you know, open, full, max throttle, pedal to the metal. That's when this thing makes power. Now with the diesel, I don't know. I don't know if it's the same thing. I don't know if you have to be, you know, at open, wide open throttle for it to make a difference, but sound-wise, it did not make a difference for me uh, by putting this colder intake on it, or aftermarket, you know, air system on it. Um, and I've also done some open ones, wide open air filters on diesel trucks. I still don't hear much of a difference. And if you guys are wondering, the part number, and mine is a 2015 Duramax LML. Here is the uh, part number. This is their Stage 2 Pro 10R. 
this is for 13 through 15 V866 LML. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Now, uh, I do not know if they will ship this for you guys that are out there in California. I am not sure if they will ship this filter uh, to you guys. And yes, they got them for all the trucks, the Dodge, the Ford, and the GM. I'll show you guys the setup I have on my truck and what it looks like when it's installed uh, into the truck. And mind yourself, I have had this filter on this truck for about, I want to say, two, three years now. I don't remember when I put it on. It's been a long time. Uh, but again, why I chose AFE, I've, just, I've been dealing with them for a long time. I've never had any problems. They have great customer service. And their product's a good product. You know, I'm not saying all the other products are bad out there, but AFE does put out a good product. All right, so here is the cold air uh, intake setup. Let me move that out of the way for you guys. Here's the uh, intake setup that I got on here. Uh, everything is still factory, everything still plugs right in. Um, it's pretty simple, I'd say, you know, just bolts there, runs into here. Um, you know, a lot of people, this cap comes with it. A lot of people don't run it, and then a lot of people do run it. I don't know what works better. I just, I run it anyways, um, because supposedly, it's supposed to grab the air from here, and if this stays open, it comes right out. But, I mean, I don't know, guys. There's so many gimmicks uh, and, you know, so many things that I've heard about these intakes and how they work, how they're supposed to work, and how they don't work. I don't know if they're, you know, true or just a big gimmick. But, I mean, I just put it on, number one, because it looks better than the stock one. Um, and the filter's a lot better than the stock filter. Stock filters, I mean, as you guys know, it's like paper. And then also, I had somebody comment on the engine of the truck. Uh, do I, you know, hose it down and spray it down after the desert trip? You know, how do you keep it clean? Uh, no, I do not. I don't put any water in here. The only thing I do is I just take a rag uh, and wipe in here uh, all the dust and the dirt, whatever, you know, was on here. Uh, and wipe down, you know, what, what I can, what little I can. But, I mean, you guys see, you know... It's pretty dirty there, here. So I don't, uh, I don't spray this engine down. Just give it a little wipe down and that's it. Some of you guys asked me if I have uh, deleted or done any work to L5P yet uh, tuning wise. No, I have not. And some of you guys asked me about the ECM installing and flashing. I have not done that yet, but I have directions here. I just actually got this email on how to um, install it and flash. Uh, these are the instructions over here on how to do all that. So uh, if you do need these instructions, I can uh, forward this email and email this to you guys uh, if you'd like. So if there's anybody out there that has uh, noticed a big difference when the in with these intakes or has actually any dyno numbers, you know, uh, send them to me, DM to me on my Instagram. Uh, it will be down in the description. It is Duramax King 2500. And I'm interested if, you know, these cold air intakes or aftermarket intakes, you call them, really work because I have really not seen any proof on these diesels that it does work. Um, does it pull more air? Yes, I'm sure it does pull more air and it's better for the truck, but does it actually work horsepower wise where it says on that AFE up to 20 horsepower and I think it's at up to 57 foot pounds of torque. Has anybody actually got that reading? And also, you know, on what conditions does this filter you know, horsepower and torque wise average does it give you? I'm not, I'm not, you know, looking for the up to number. I'm looking for more of what does it actually give you, you know, driving and just some regular, I don't know, conditions. I, I don't, I don't, I know it's different, you know, for all you guys, some in snow, you know, some in heat, but what is the average number that it gives you? And also, do you guys hear any different noise wise? Cause that's another thing they say, you will be able to hear the turbo uh, much better. I personally did not hear uh, the turbo, you know, much better. I mean, I can hear it, but uh, I'm not hearing it through the intake. I'm hearing it out of the exhaust uh, side of the truck. So let me know. Uh, I want to see some numbers out there if there is anybody that has them. And let me know what you guys think. Would you guys purchase it? You know, is it worth? Because these things aren't cheap. I think I paid, I want to say it was like almost $500. I think for these filters, they're, they're pretty pricey. And I didn't make this video to bag on any of these companies or say they're all lot. I'm vlogging over here. One second. Um, to, you know, lie or talk bad about any of these companies saying all their numbers are, are false. I just, I have not seen a video where somebody has proven that putting that intake on a, a diesel truck you know, made a huge difference or saw physical dyno readings where it made 10 horsepower extra or five or actually 20 like it says. 
I just want to see you know, if it's true or not because I get a lot of you guys DMing me asking me, Eddie, does it really work? Well, I don't know. You know, I can't tell you guys if it really works. What's the problem, dude? I'm blogging over here. Why do you keep yelling? One second. Sorry, his uh, charger came off his iPad so we couldn't watch his TV no more. But uh, like I said, yeah, when you guys DM me and ask me, Eddie, does it work? I don't know. So that's all I got for you guys today. Leave down in the comment section what you guys think. Have you guys noticed a difference? Do you guys hear a difference? Has it been proven? Have you had a dyno? Have you seen physical dyno reading numbers? Again, I didn't make this video to talk bad about them. Obviously, I have one. Um, or to say they're all liars. I just you know, don't have an answer for you guys when you tell me, does it work? Does it really give you 20 extra horsepower? So let me know, leave down in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.